would seem the magics have returned us. How polite. Now, what have we learned? Ah, we were bound to run into a living statue eventually. And now we can open the door. Who would disturb a hero's deserved slumber? A tomb, just as I thought, befitting a hero. She is Vis. Could that be the Archmage Tiuna? A legendary hero of Ronka, as you surmised. The tales tell of how she smote entire armies with a single incantation so potent was her spellcraft, though she ever fought in the name of peace. I thought them no more than tales. To think she really existed. Well, I for one always believed. By the light of fallen stars, great power awakens. Tuna was not only a master of spellcraft. It is said she could see truths long lost and hear the voices of men's hearts. Not less than the echo. In which case, None of this is mere coincidence. A shower of stars setting the sky aflame. And in both this world and the Source, we find individuals within whom a mysterious power awakened at the sight. We can never unpick the why of it. Now, however, I believe we might. Does the scene depicted here not resemble the one we saw when we first ventured into the Katana Ravel? Moreover, does it not recall that which Emmett Selk invited us to witness in Amarot? The final days. If, as the Exarch's research suggests, soul and mind share a fragile yet profound bond, might it not be possible for an event to leave such a deep imprint upon the soul that it could be perceived eons later, given a suitable trigger? The Echo defies explanation by conventional etherological theory, or shall we say modern etherological theory. But if it is a power that once belonged to the ancients, to souls yet undivided, It would seem I have entered the realm of pure speculation, and I call myself a scholar. I shall refrain from making any further wild claims until such time as I have evidence. Still, I cannot choose but be reminded of our experience in Amarot.
remember us. History is learned, not lived. We have always protected the tales of Ronka, just as we have protected this place. But we are mindful of what our mothers taught us. We see the past through our own eyes and speak of it with our own words. Thus do we come to understand it in our own way. But this is not the same as remembering. Your mothers were wise. Though we witnessed the final days, our impressions could not fail to be colored by our own experiences and expectations. Those who lived through it would have perceived the event quite differently. We must bear in mind that it is no simple matter to keep the truth alive or it will die with Emmett Selk and his kin. But we have disturbed you not long enough. Fanau will serve similarly well as a venue for our contemplations. <laughs>